guys welcome back to my channel this is going to be a twin flame reading i'm going to get really into the divine masculine's energy i'll also probably channel the divine feminine energy because as we know the two are connected okay and i feel like that's been really apparent lately um you may be having emotions that feel i don't like to really encourage codependency because i do think we are all autonomous beings even your counterpart but you may be feeling empathically the emotions of your twin, okay? So if you feel sadness and you just feel like it's not really coming from you, I feel like you are picking up on their experience right now. So I'm going to start off with the Divine Masculine's energy and see where they are at. And the reason why I said sadness is because I do think that the Divine Masculine's have been sort of in a sad space. Um, but... Let's just get into, oh, this came out. I wasn't even ready. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so Two of Cups. This is a very twin flame, perhaps the most twin flame card. Now, this could be your divine masculine is in a partnership with someone else. But to me, these are mirrored souls. The masculine is starting to realize that they see themselves in you. And that's what I'm saying. You guys are mirroring each other's energy. There's a heart coherence going on with the partners right now a telepathic communication a spiritual exchange okay so the masculine's heart space is open right now to the feminine i see this as the twins because these are mirroring souls the two of cups wow okay king of cups scorpio energy could be cancer pisces a lot of emotions that's what I've been saying. Okay. King of Cups and Two of Cups doesn't necessarily mean they're taking any action towards the feminine right now, though. They're just in their feels. Okay. These are from the last reading I did with this deck, so I don't want to take them quite yet. I do feel there is some sadness, though. It's almost like a darkness, like... Um, the masculine's worried that they've lost the feminine, I'm hearing. And there's an inner child part of them being activated. So there's something with their mother that they experienced. And it could have been a very subtle experience of loss. It could literally have been when they were dropped off at school when they were young or they lost their mom and like, I remember like not being able to find my mom one time in Blockbuster, like the rental video place and panicking, it, like little moments like that, that triggered that like separation within them, okay? Hangman, Pisces energy, a lot of water sign. Okay, so what I feel like you may think that they've made a decision perhaps away from you or in some other direction, but they're actually still on the fence about it. Okay. Five of Wands reversed. They're internally conflicted. What are they conflicted about? Ooh, see the Eight of Swords. Um, all right, let's get one more card here. They're, they're emotionally conflicted. Oh my God, you guys. See, they're heartbroken. They may have seen something with you or just thought that you, you... There was also a third party situation here, okay? There was other energies involved. They feel like they caused heartache. They feel like there's no moving backwards from here. They're feeling pretty intense right now, actually. All right, let's get some messages from the Divine Masculine Messages. This is from Energy, um, Soul Shine Energy Healing Arts. You can find her on Etsy. This is the name of her because I'm kind of getting confused. Soul Shine Healing Arts. Chris, this is also a deck of hers, Crystal Ball Messages. All right, so what does a masculine want to communicate to the feminine right now? I did say I was going to get some feminine energies, but I don't know if I'm going to. Perhaps I'll do a Patreon, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I told you they're conflicted. I'm trying to protect the connection. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. So whatever they're doing is actually a way to preserve your connection. 
It might not seem like it though. I want to be a better person for you. I feel like in this number 44 here, I feel like if they came forward now, they feel like it wouldn't be good for you or for them or for the connection. I am making my way to you and I need more time, you see? They think that right now coming forward wouldn't be good for you guys. I'm gonna use my relationship design cards. Let's get some more energies with the masculine. Water, oh my God, you guys, how much emotions do we have? You've got me feeling emotions. So they're in their feels. Something in their life happened recently to make them have this like shadow, rejection, abandonment triggers. That's what I'm saying. Compassion, war their heart is open right now, which is unfortunate because I don't think they're sharing it with the feminine. Change, different, transform. They maybe feel like you changed your mind about them. They're having a lot of insecurities. Their insecurities are being triggered. It just could be energetically they feel you moving away from them. I'm being called to use this dark mirror oracle to see what kind of shadow energies they're in. Usually I'm more into the divine masculine or ener feminine energy. You guys know that, but right now I'm just being called to use this. So their insecurities, it's inner child stuff for sure. I mean, it's always inner child stuff, but. Forgetting oneself. Oh, wow. Okay. This is interesting. This is very layered. Okay, guys. So for one, I feel this is about number 17, which is very twin flame number, which comes out to eight, which comes out to infinity. Um, they're in a codependent situation for one. They also have a fear of being in a codependent situation, but they also are choosing to be in a situation that helps them run from themselves. They don't want to face themselves still, you guys. But they also have a fear of losing themselves. All of these ones have a different um, stage of grief. So let's see number 17. What stage of grief is this? This is denial, okay? Time as an eternal present, not fleeting, but locked. No progress is no regress either, you see? Um, you stand on the edge of the precipice and a little part of you wants to jump but it is just a moment of rest a moment of pause a moment of uncreative selfishness so what let it be and sleep soundly eating the lotus flower numbing our identity to go by the sound of a music that was never ours if you let go of the pressure and of the pain if you let enough of your identity of the context you live in then you will just feel better your masculine guys is numbing themselves through a relationship through their actions change is still really challenging for them okay they're still having a hard time changing let's get a message from them from the heart and soul oracle from carrie from celestial forecast i think the feminine is really changing at an accelerating speed right now lies oh okay there are truths that they've never revealed to you guys that they don't want to have to reveal because then they have to face themselves, okay? Um, whatever they're doing right now is actually kind of a lie. And that's sort of like the hangman, that Pisces, Neptune energy. It's very blurred lines of truth, okay? It's very false, deceptive illusions. I'm tough, I'm independent, I don't need anyone, I certainly don't need you. Your love, your touch, your kiss, none of that ever meant anything to me. My life is sunshine and rainbows each and every day. Who the hell needs the kind of love that you and I shared anyway? Wow. Flawless. Out of the billions of people on this planet, my journey led me to you. I've never known such happiness, pleasure, contentment, and joy. We fit together so perfectly that I can't imagine a day of my life without you in it. Let's get one more. Ripped. I've never known the kind of love that could break me open to such a depth of emotion, passion, and feelings until you came into my life. Knowing that we belong together and yet unable to bring desire and my dreams into reality, it breaks my heart into a million. 
you know, we have emotion throughout this whole reading. This is something they're running from. This is something they're still not brave enough to embrace. And I can't guarantee that they will in this lifetime, guys. But this is just where they're at. They need more time. They need to maybe just have something that helps them just feel whatever they're feeling. There's also a vulnerability here with you. I'm seeing that with this, but also with this guy naked. Like When you are with them, it's so intense because they feel you can see them and they don't want to be seen. In, because the, with the way they see themselves is kind of like ugly and not lovable and so they don't want to be around anyone that reflects that to them even though they know you love them it's a double-edged sword all right guys this was the divine masculine reading i hope it resonates with you guys thank you for tuning in i will see you next time bye